All right, gentlemen, I think we're live. Well, shalom, everybody. Um, we are live uh, at prayer, I'm gathering the nations to stand with Israel today. Thank you so much for hopping on wherever, whatever platform you're on um, and standing with us. Um, we've been getting reports from my daughter, my sister, my family and friends over in Israel. It's the middle of the night there, uh, 4, 5, 4 a.m. in Israel right now. It is 9.38 p.m. at the time of this live right now here in the United States, East Coast Standard Time. I think three of the four of us that are on this live right now are East Coast Standard. Uh, you see Aaron Schuster there over in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, Jordan Marcelino in, oh yeah, you're in Tennessee as well. So Joe, you're two, two in Tennessee. Jordan Marcelino of the Beautiful Land Initiative. Um, what the guys you see here are good friends of mine and Jordan and Aaron, good friends. And uh, Jordan uh, has been working um, tirelessly cleaning up Israel uh, with his organization, The Beautiful Land. And he's in the States right now too. And we have Rabbi Eduardo Arroyo from Radar Apologetics, uh, one of the rabbis at Beth El Gibor here in Pennsylvania where I am. And uh, we just want to thank you guys for joining us. We did this, you know, of course, last minute, none of us, you know, we've been hearing about a potential strike from Iran and, and, and here it is before us. Wave one came, wave two came, and I want to show, thank you so much for everybody that's hopped on. A wave one, uh, I think we're in the middle of wave two, they're talking about three waves, and I thought, man, we all thought we need to get together and pray um, that God would send his hand over Israel. Before we continue, I just want to play this video that was just sent just a little bit ago, just to, just the reality uh, of this that my buddy, our buddy, Hanani Naftali just posted a little bit ago. Good. So that's the reality right now, and videos are just going to keep coming in. And uh, just um, if you guys can, you guys can hear me in there. Yeah. So uh, on a personal note, um, you know, we just talked to Emma. She is wide awake. She's okay, um, but um, she heard, you know, boom, boom, boom. Went outside and saw, you know, orange smoke in the sky, and and Israel is is knocking down rockets. And I'm hearing Jordan and uh, the country of Jordan. And I think another country, right, is helping knock down some of those uh, unarmed drones as they're coming into Israel. And this is really, we want to be a little bit less about news right now and more about entering into prayer and intercession for Israel. Um, Aaron, uh, Jordan Marcelino, you, my, my, my brother, I know you lived in Israel for a long time. You're in the States right now. But any any updates from you um, hearing on, on the Israel side? You know, just, just seeing seeing a lot of the, the news come out, you know, I'm getting, am, do I have, audio? okay. So yeah, I was just talking with a guy, good friend of mine. And, and he's like, he's like, bro, we're, we're all in the shelter right now. Massive explosions are heard all around. Um, you know, and so just that, that incredibly real feeling that, that our dear, our, our dear ones, our loved ones are, are there. And, you know, when, when you, when we're in these times, these tri to total tragedy times where, where gigantic decisions are being made, um, it's Kola Am Yisrael. It's the whole, it's the whole people of Israel yeah. that feels like family. And so we're standing, uh, with the house of Israel, uh, in the land and around the world. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're seeing all of you guys on here. I see about a thousand of you people right now between the different platforms during this live. So thank you, Ruth Jubilee on YouTube, Catherine uh, Kanailo Z Goncharov in Hawaii, uh, Paula Macbeth, God bless you, Marietka, God bless you, uh, Mar Margie, God bless you. Thank you so much for praying for Israel. Aaron, uh, is your audio working? We hear you. Um, oh, what? oh, we don't. Hear oh, we hear you. Yeah, we do hear you. Um, yeah. I had to, I had to change some stuff and I, I just got you back. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. No, that's all right. It's it's uh it's working now a little latent, but um, Rabbi uh, Eduardo um, Arroyo with Radar Apologetics, um, how you doing over there right now? You've been following the news. 
as well. Yeah. Yeah, I was listening to some news earlier about all the rockets coming in and all the craziness. How, um, you know, one of the things that really struck me was how the people don't want to be in this war is what most of the reports are are talking about. So what we have is something that's really evil that's occurring, you know, something really evil, something really dark. And, you know, a verse that really comes to my mind is Isaiah 41, 11 to 12. And it says, behold, all who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. This is a promise for the house of Israel. Wow. And this was at the conquest of Cyrus coming on in, but ultimately that Israel would be delivered from her enemies. And I believe this is a prayer that we can hold on to, knowing that the God of Israel will protect his people. He began to work with them. He's going to bring it to completion um, for the whole house of Israel. And, you know, regardless of the enemies that come, the house of Israel stands, the Jewish people stand, and they continue as an oil of goyim, right? A light to the nations proclaiming Amen. the truth of the God of Israel. And, you know, even with the difficulty of reports, all the things coming in, we trust the Lord that he's strong enough to protect, to deliver his people. And that also standing on the truth of the gospel, that even in the midst of this, we can share the truth of Yeshua and his light and share the light with our Jewish people and even with those who um, are on the other side. Who um, are against us that we can pray that the lord indeed will bring them close to the truth of the messiah yeah. I, I think we have a unique um, position in this as believers to really stand in the gap for those that are coming against israel that they may come to salvation Amen. and call our brothers to salvation and say hey our god is a deliverer he's true he's a redeemer he's strong this thing for us may seem impossible for him nothing's impossible right Amen. um yeah I mean, guys, we'll check out Rabbi Eduardo on his uh, channel, uh, Radar Apologetics. Incredible. That's why him and I became, well, actually, I didn't realize we were friends before we became <laughs> friends. Um, he's an incredible uh, DJ as well and just music, <laughs> music man. But he's he really is an apologist and really knows the word of God. And, um, but Aaron, are you able to sing a song? Um, your song, Jerusalem, is really, I feel like it's a timely song for right now. And um Hopefully it works. It's a little late into the uh, audio, but I think it's going to work. We pray for the peace. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. For the sake of our brothers and friends, we now say Lord, we within you. We pray for the peace. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for the sake of the house of the Lord, we seek your good. We pray for the peace. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for the sake of our brothers and friends, we now say shalom be within you. We pray for the peace, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for the sake of the house of the Lord, we seek good. So may the guardian of Israel rise. May his chariots fire fill the sky. Let's protect you from every evil. Keep your lives. We cry. How long? We pray for the peace, pray for, for the sake of our brothers and friends, we say shalom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of you who are uh, watching live, just write in some of your prayers. Thank you for praying from Finland, Patricia, Indiana. Um, 
Psalm 44, 5, you are my king, O God, command victories um, and deliverance for Jacob. It's beautiful. Thanks, Elo. God bless you guys. Keep sending in uh, your prayers. I want to read uh, from Proverbs uh, 6. And this is really just speaking towards people who have been talking about Israel. And, you know, I just did a reading of this book by Derek Prince, Why Israel? And this is a free book they give out everywhere. Incredible book. Derek lived in Israel for a few decades, I believe, Derek Prince. And um, I did. I forgot that I had read this book, did an audio reading, and they just published it, um, Why Israel? And I know some of you are confused at the news, what's happening. All I know is that they came and took our people, uh, took, them, took them captive, and they're still holding our people captive in Gaza. And it's awakened an evil around the world, and it's awakened, awakened a giant... Um, uh, Iran. It's not, nobody's a giant compared to our God. But Michelet, Proverbs six sixteen says this: There are six things Adonai hates; seven which he detests: a haughty look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that plots wicked schemes, feet swift in running to do evil, a false witness who lies with every breath, and him who sows strife among brothers. And we just pray, God. We just pray that you'll. We know you hate a hand that sheds innocent blood. God, we just pray right now with everybody that's joined with us right now. We just pray for this hand. May you slap this hand back in your mighty name. This hand that's pursued, not on aiming rockets at soldiers, but hands that are that are intent on shedding innocent blood. Wow. These past six months plus until today, this day, this, this day that we're in right now that will go down in history as the, 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 the biggest wave of drone attacks or whatever's happening right now will also be a day that we remember that the hand of God will slap the hand that sheds innocent blood back Amen. and that they would be held back in Yeshua's mighty name. Um, we just thank mm. you so much right now. I see somebody right here, Michaela S. Iranian people are with Israel. Thank you, God, for the Iranian people. The, all of us brothers, we've met Iranians, and they're some of the most beautiful people led by a wicked regime. And we just pray that those people will be rep represented properly, God, and bless those people, those Iranian, beautiful Iranian people who wish this wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. uh, and the regime is pursuing a battle uh, in, in, in which they will lose. But God, right now, as my daughter's sleeping, as my sister's sleeping, as my mother, I sorry, sorry my, my uncle and my aunt and my cousins are sleeping right now. Our, our good, good friend Chaim Mailspin and his wife and children are sleeping and our friends across Israel Lord, that you send. May you be the guardian of Israel as Aaron uh, saying that you arise and protect them from every evil this very night. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beautiful. One of you guys want to keep uh, Rabbi Eduardo, you want to, you want to pray as well? Yeah, absolutely. I want to, um, I just want to encourage everybody who's watching that we don't pray without hope and without conviction and trusting in the Lord. Because the battle is won in the Lord. We have to really believe that and affirm that these are his promises. I just want to share a couple more verses, if that's Please. okay, before I pray. Yeah. Um, Jer Jer it's interesting. We just finished celebrating Rosh Chodesh, which is the beginning of the new moon of Nisan. We're approaching Passover season when Israel was facing the sea with no way out and the Egyptian army behind them. When there was no way, God made a way. He preserved his people. He delivered them by his strong arm. He executed judgment against the gods of Egypt and brought his people through an impossible battle. This thing may seem impossible to us, but God will deliver. And I want to share this from Jeremiah 31, 35. A couple of verses, but I think it's important. And we can hold on to this in the midst of the battle that we face. Um, Thus says the Lord, who gives the sun for light by day and the fixed order of the moon and the stars for light by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. Don't miss the heavenly armies our God commands, right? If this fixed order, the order of the sun and the moon, shall depart from before me, declares the Lord, then the offspring of Israel also will cease from being a nation before me forever. Sun, moon still here. Israel will remain. And check this out. Thus says the Lord, continuing, if the heavens above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out below, then I will also cast off all the offspring of Israel for all that they've done, declares the Lord. No, no, the sun and the moon is still here. The heavens cannot be measured. God will preserve and protect his people and fight the battle. And you may be asking, 
Why do we pray? We pray because God calls us to pray. He desires that we will be vessels filled with his spirit to pray and to partner with him in what he is desiring to do in this world. And with that, let's uh, let's go into a prayer real quickly. Vino Malkeno, our Father, King, Lord, we boldly come to your throne of mercy, Lord, asking for grace, Lord, in our time of need, Father, that you would be with all of those of the house of Israel and those in the land and those that have joined her that are there suffering right now at what is the attempt of evil of an evil regime father and we just pray lord that you would stand there as you stood there with the sword drawn the angel of the lord that you yeshua will go fight for your people oh god that you fight for your people we pray lord that you would encourage your people strengthen them lord uh prevent innocent blood from being shed lord meet the people where they're at meet the needs of your people lord visit them encourage them strengthen them lord draw many people to your son yeshua may we see the glory of god be revealed in this place and may many Iranians and many of those that are against Yeshua, that are against the God of Israel, may they come to know him through the precious blood of your son, Yeshua. We just thank you, Lord, that you are God who answers prayer. Scripture is clear that you are attentive to the cry of your people, Father. And we cry out to you, Father, as we are in this season of approaching Pesach, approaching the great deliverance that we look back and look forward to, Father. In this season, we ask you to move on our behalf as well and we know that you will because this is your promise you will preserve your people we give you glory we give you honor in the name of messiah yeshua amen and amen <clears throat> brother jordan yeah i've got a scripture um no weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of Adonai, and their vindication is from me, declares Adonai. Isaiah 54, 17. God, we come before you uh, humbly, Lord. We're, we're your servants, Lord, and we, we call upon your name. We ask you to remember your promises, Lord, your decrees, uh, your your words which do not return void but they accomplish all that they were sent for we pray divine protection over the land and the people of israel we thank you for the incredible uh minds and and uh and and personnel lord who are the ones fighting this battle in the in the flesh and and we ask you for tremendous wisdom and and uh and and judgment in how they proceed and how 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 we respond lord as a nation and as a military um but god go before your people i pray for all those lord who are uh afraid lord all of those who are who are being traumatized yeah, young children who are uh, experiencing these, th this this uh, this massive uh, shelling from fifteen hundred miles away. God, we ask you for comfort, comfort my people, or comfort our people, as you say, Nahamu Ami. Just want to read one more uh, scripture. This has to do with Passover, which we're about to enter into. This is out of Psalm 80, verse 8, powerful scripture. And it there's a, there's a powerful line in the end that I'm going to highlight. But hear this. God speaking about, about Israel, Psalm 80. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade the mighty cedars with its branches. It sent out its branches to the sea and its shoots to the river. Very, very interesting wording there because of course we know this, this uh, free Palestine movement uses from the river to the sea and in, uh, in these statements, but God declared it from before, from of old, and he did it. And he says, from the, from the sea to the river, uh, Israel will prosper and, uh, and that it will stretch out its bows, uh, its bows all over. And so, Lord, we just declare your word. Uh, 
into the atmosphere. We thank you, God, for these promises. We thank you for these uh, pictures, Lord, of vine uh, that you transplanted to bear good fruit, to bear great fruit. And Lord, we pray for Israel now um, and all of the uh, attacks coming against her, that she would cause her to put on strength, cause Israel to rise up in strength uh, like never before. These are unprecedented days. And uh, I just say, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Ozer Yisrael Begvura. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who girds Israel with strength. Thank you, God. Bless and keep our people. Shem Adonai. Amen, amen. Amen. It's so encouraging to see all of you typing and texting in your prayers. Um, Sharon Hillary, God bless you. Hello, Catherine uh, Portis, God bless you. Kathy M. Uh, Kenny Oliver, God bless you. Psalm 122.6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. I'm thinking about a Jordan and I lived in a village with some, so many minstrels, beautiful songwriters, believers, songwriters, Jewish believers. I'm thinking of Eli Sheva Shamron, Jordan, that wrote this beautiful song that Paul Wilbur carried around the world called Kadosh. 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 Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Adonai Elohim, Adonai Elohim, Sevaoh. Adonai Elohim, Sevaoh. comments coming in here. Thank you so much for your prayers. I'm seeing a few of the uh, these uh, free Palestine. Amen. 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 May God free Palestine from Hamas and may the Palestinians live a better life than they've ever had before. We've been praying just so you know if you're those few that are think we're the guys that hate anybody that's not Israel. Well, God loves every Palestinian um, we read earlier, he hates uh, a hand that sheds innocent blood. Um, and that's from the word of God. And and we know that Israel has made a lot of mis mistakes. It's it's a, it's not a, uh, uh, a theocracy. God has not dictated all the things that a flawed man would, you know, would do. Um, but we know that Israel is never, you know, uh, 
targeted innocent people knowing that you know knowing that they're targeting innocent people so pray that israel would have wisdom in every process throughout throughout this whole this whole endeavor nobody wanted this to come upon israel um and we just thank you most of you that are on here now and we love you those that you're saying free palestine ayan x uh mukhtar free palestine from israel we just say Free Palestine from Hamas and may, they, may they live free and prosper like never before. And everybody live long and healthy lives and know uh, God uh, in a mighty way. So uh, we love you. You can keep making comments. That's great. As long as it's not, uh, you know, uh, doesn't go too far. You can say what you believe. That's fine. Uh, but we love you guys. Thank you for joining us for this live. Aaron, do you have a word? I see, I see you flipping through your favorite book over there. Um, I'm, I'm going to read some of these comments here as well. If you have a, a, a word, go for, go for it, Brother Aaron. Well, the one I was thinking of, I just read a couple of days ago, so I know it's in the book of Deuteronomy. But I can't find that one, so maybe it's not me. Maybe it's not for me to read that one, but I have another one. Our dear friend, uh, Seth Postel, who's over in Israel right now, just sent out a text. Um simply quoting um, 2 Kings 6, 15 and 16, which is some of the inspiration for the song that I just played, May the Guardian of Israel Arise, the Chariots of Fire Fill the Skies. That's been a prayer that I've been singing as a part of that song since, since October 7th. Um, 2 Kings 6, this is Elisha. You have my charger. It's plugged to the left of the fireplace under a blanket. Yeah. Probably next to Benny. Um, Sorry. Okay. Go Got to have your charger. Um, 2 Kings 6, 15. This is Elisha and his attendant in the city of Bethlehem. Now when the attendant of the man of God had risen early and gone out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was circling the city. And his servant said to him, to Elisha, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, do not fear, for those who are, who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elisha prayed and said, O oh Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Mm. And when they came down, Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, Strike this people with blindness, I pray. So he, God, struck them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. So, Father, um, you are the same exact God who answered Elisha in this conversation so many thousands of years ago in Israel. Um, and you hear our prayers right now. And, uh, I pray that the people within Israel would believe the truth uh, in their hearts that this, this attendant of Elisha needed to come to believe on this morning so many years ago that you are with them and that uh, the, the, the hosts of the armies of heaven are, are more than those who rally against Israel more than the enemies of Israel, that they would realize that, that they would believe that they would know that they would even literally see that you would open eyes, that you would op physically open eyes to see that you are with them and you are uh, greater in number um, than those rockets who are coming out. And I, and I pray um, not only for those blinded eyes to see, I pray for the, the eyes as it were of those rockets to be blinded, that they would lose their way. Um, that they would flounder, that they would be intercepted even by you, that you would divinely intercede. God, show your power, show your strength with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Save your people yet again. And uh, I pray for the, for the protection of the guardian of Israel over your people. I pray for perfect peace, for shalom uh, tonight in the hearts, but I also pray for for your kingdom of peace to come quickly and be established. Um, we uh, we come to you, Lord God. I think of Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills. 
from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And we lift our eyes above the hills, above these rockets, and we look, our, we look to you, the maker of heaven and earth, our deliverer, our help, who does not slumber nor sleep. Uh, protect Israel tonight. Protect your people. Amen. Okay. Amen. You know, it makes me think about um, that our God is not far from us, right? Even in creation, he came down onto the earth and formed us from the dust of the earth, right? Oh. That our God was active in the creation. He wasn't He wasn't far off somewhere, you know, and oh. zapping us. He He comes down and he he's in the dirt with the people, right? Forming us, comes down oh. and... We shouldn't think that he's far now. No, he's near. He's near to to his people. He's near and he's there and he does battle with his people and he stands by them. Amen. I want to read one more verse, um, if that's okay. Um, from Isaiah 43, 1, it says, But now thus says the Lord, your creator, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I've redeemed you. I've called you by name. By name, you are mine. The next part is so good. It says, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow flow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will the flame burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Amen. Well, our God is with us. He fights for his people. Our God is not far off traveling. Like when Elijah was talking to the gods, uh, the prophets of Baal and the false gods, that, hey, you know, Where's, where's your God? Perhaps he's traveling. Perhaps he's somewhere off. No, no, no. Our God is, is near. He's not far from his people. Amen. Well, again, we want to thank you so much for typing in your prayers. We have 3,700 of you guys here in real time. It's really, really neat to see how many of you are rallying up here at this hour. It's 10, 10 p.m. right now in East Coast, I know, in Nashville where jordan and aaron are at the moment it's uh, 9 p.m we're just thankful that you're standing with israel you know there's never been a more important time i know um i have close people to me i walk around with this israel hat i know i've seen some of you guys too you know it's a little obnoxious um but my great grandparents the schweitzers were killed in the holocaust and you know you think about the silence that happened then and um it was like guilt by silence. You know, the church, Christians were quiet. And, you know, many of you probably heard that. I think I thought, saw it in a gospel tract years ago. And they were singing and they were, uh, as the trains were going by with uh, taking our people to the Holocaust. And they just said, sing a little louder, sing a little louder. Um, and, um, you know, and, and basically take your eyes off of and your ears off of what's actually happening about the just things you can do. So right now we're just asking you, uh, to stop and just listen to what's happening right now and pray and we're just so thankful for so many of you that have stopped and uh, are praying with us we're just so grateful for all of you that have joined in please don't 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 finish praying um this night is a very important night we will always remember october 7th um we will always remember this day too what is this april 13th right we'll we won't have to guess after today april 13th this day with this unprecedented wave of attacks coming from by air uh, into a country like this. Um, it's unprecedented. And the chance from the river to the sea is it's been working. It's been working. It's it's people, it's getting into people's heads and they're not realizing what they're a part of from the river to the sea is basically saying a people, my people, our people um, who've been scattered and slaughtered six million of us, including my great grandparents in the Holocaust just two generations ago. Um, my grand, my mother was born in Israel just a few years after my grandmother made it to Israel, uh, in, in Israel. And now it's un, it's unbelievable that we're back at this again. But we are so thankful for you who are watching, praying, standing with us. And yes, we're seeing some people, you know, rooting for Iran. I don't know how it's possible on via text here because they are aiming rockets at innocent people. It's not apples to apples um it's not the same it's not the same uh israel the idf is not aiming rockets at innocent people they're aiming it at bad people and accidents have happened which is really tragic and that's not something 
we can get into today, but we just want to pray as these people, these hands that are sh- that are uh, intent to shed innocent blood, as we read in Proverbs six, um, that they would be their hand would be slapped back uh, in the mighty name of our Savior Yeshua. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for standing. Um, let me just read a few of those names. You guys, you guys can see this as well. These names here. Um, Aaron, do you want to read off some of these names? Which which list are we seeing? I'm sorry. It's, is there a list on the side of your screen, or is it just my screen? Uh, I think it's, uh, we see the comments. Okay, okay. So, do you see any of the names? Okay, I'll do it. So, Sarah Bain, Jordan, or yeah, know? I see some. Here's one. Uh, oh, okay. Raul Araujo, Valentina Goward, Ivan. They're flying in. Let me see here. Pink Diamond. I'm not sure what that one was. Ronald Nicholas. Hat Lady. <laughs> um, Diane Itani. Hey, Thank you guys so much for joining. Hi, Patricia Menarchuk. Um, see that one. Farm Lady. Hey, Jennifer. Guys, we just want to let you know that we see you here. I know it's hard to, to read all the names, but we want to let you know we do see you here. We're so grateful. I, I hope you guys can continue to follow. Aaron Schust is my favorite songwriter in the whole wide world. So please, <laughs> please follow Aaron. Aaron is one of the few Christian singers that that really stands with Israel. Not that other singers don't. He just put it all on the line to say, I stand with the God of Israel. And he's written about it. His song, Zion, has become a standard. In Israel, among people like Jordan and I, and, and Rabbi Emmanuel, uh, just the just uh, Rabbi Eduardo, sorry, just to, just that we would just to see God's picture and God's plan in the midst of all of this. So, Aaron, we love you so much. I hope you guys can go and follow Aaron and his on all socials and, and YouTube, etc. But Rabbi Eduardo is one of my favorite apologists. I want to say young apologist, but he's really just up there, and I love listening to his. Uh, apologetics. He's just a student of the word and rabbi here in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah. so PA, PA. We get three of us mm-hmm. from PA here. Yeah. Um, but follow uh, Radar Apologetics. Uh, incredible page he has uh, on his social media, YouTube and all social medias. Radar Apologetics. And of course, Jordan Marcelino, who start, who was my neighbor for a while um, and, and shall be again uh, in Israel, raising our kids together in Israel. I was an uncle to his kids um, and he was an uncle and his wife uh, was an aunt and Jeannie was an aunt to their kids and um, just started the Beautiful Land Initiative. Look up the Beautiful Land Initiative. Um, what you have before here is three just holy men of God who just want to serve God with the talents that God's given them. And, um, so make sure you follow the Beautiful, the Beautiful Land Initiative um, anywhere, social media, beautifullandinitiative.org. Is it the Beautiful Land or Beautiful Land? Uh, Oh, beautifulland.org. Beautifulland.org. Uh, Rabbi Eduardo, what's your your website? It's uh, radarapologetics.org, like okay. a radar, R A D A R, apologetics.org. And Aaron Schuster, Aaron Schuster.com. But, you know, I, I just say this because I love these guys and I, I want you to find good, good people out there on, you know, there's there's a, there's a guy named Rabbi Google. Don't don't always listen to that guy. He doesn't know <laughs> what he's talking about. He's going to take you on a crazy tangent. Uh, but these are God, good, godly men. We're just so thankful that you joined us in prayer. There is another wave coming um, that we know is on its way. So we just wanted to rally you guys up. So thank you again. Um, want, I'm trying to read all your comments as they're coming through. But thank you for standing with Israel. If you'd like to join us uh, in Orlando this year for our second annual Gather the Nations Conference, we all believe the king is coming soon. Uh, if you want to join us, we have 1,200 people in Dallas for our first conference, Gather the Nations um, come join us in Orlando this next Feast of Trumpets, uh, October 3rd through 5th. We'd love to see you there. God is doing a mighty thing in these last days to see many people like you that are on right now live um, gathering the nations. That I believe worship leads the way, and uh, we have all worship him in, in, a, in a sacrifice of praise. Jordan Marcelino, his sacrifice, picking up trash for years and years around Israel. I mean, what a beautiful act of worship. Um, preparing the way for the king. I love preparing it. the way for the king. So Amen. God bless you. Thank you for standing with Israel. Yes. Thank you for joining Rabbi Eduardo, myself, Aaron Schust, 
and Jordan Marcelino. Um, we're just grateful for every last one of you. So shalom, shalom, God bless you. And please pray throughout this night as God uh, as God urges you, as we we urge you as well to stand with Israel. God bless. Shalom, Bye, shalom. Guys. Shalom. Shalom.